Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so and also to my class. So for today's video, we're just going to be um continuing and also reiterating what uh, I am telling you about. Last time I already told you about that as part of the learning of our dear students, you need to look into the holistic development of our dear students, which includes our cognitive skills and values for our learners. So let's proceed. So for our cognitive development, I have told you about that already wherein we have the Bloom's taxonomy. So you try to look into and always incorporate um, content and also activities that will stimulate uh, various cognitive domains, including critical thinking, and not just only by identifying as or the knowledge level. Make sure that our dear students will also undergo problem solving and creativity so that our students will have an opportunity for them to apply knowledge and not just basically more of memorization. Because memorization is the, I would say, the lowest, I mean, uh, lowest cognitive level for our dear students. So we uh, we try to uh, have to avoid those memorization. It, uh, but memorization is still applicable for the, for the other topics. However, um, as part of memorization, it's just only the lowest level. But um, if the one that they have memorized will be applied for a certain situation that is um, uh, into a realistic, I mean, situation or context, therefore, the level of our, I mean, the level of our cognitive level of our dear students is a little higher, okay? Or it to the peak of critical thinking and problem solving. So let's proceed. So the next one is the skills as acquisition. We have different types of skills. So, but more or less, we try to look into the practical skills. So from those theories, and then can be applied in a practical situation. Therefore, um, integrating content, integrating theories, and therefore developing into a practical skill would help them to uh, really present and apply them in terms of communicating, researching, and also technical skills that will help them contribute or that will help those um, learned theories into a practical situation and will develop their overall skill. And therefore, it will help them also in a, into their lifelong learning. So it is a skill if they, uh, the things that they have learned can be applied in a, in a practical situation, in a professional field or in an, a day-to-day -day basis. So that is what we mean by skills acquisition. So not just basically more of memorization. Next one is values and ethics. What do you mean by values and ethics? This is more of determining the right and wrong. So uh, uh, making also um, our dear students understand what is ethical, what is right. So trying to look into the addressing of values and ethical considerations within the content. So this is more of uh, in terms of moral, cultural sensitive, responsible decision making, fostering development of a well-rounded and ethical individual. Yes, they may have learned something from your topic. They have applied it into in terms of pra practical. However, is it right and value, I mean, valuable, acceptable into our society? So that is what you mean by values and ethics. And of course, like the ones that they have told you, the diversity and inclusion. Make sure that the experiences that you are presenting to your module are diverse and inclusive. And at the same time, create an empathy and equal opportunity and understanding among different types of learning so that they are prepared and well-rounded in a globalized world. So I guess that would be all. So again, the selection and organization of content should be guided principles, should be guided by principles like prior, uh, prioritizing, relevance, inclusivity, and holistic development of learners. Because a well-structured curriculum does not only impart knowledge, but of course, cultivate essential skills, values that are necessary in various aspects of life that will help them be a lifelong learner. So that would be all everyone. For, for that discussion. Thank you.